Hi everyone, my name is Karen, this is my channel Rather Be Reading, and today I'm bringing to you my March TBR. I think that my reading plans for March are maybe a little bit ambitious. I have a lot of books that I'm hoping to get through. I am also planning to participate in some different challenges and readathons this month, so stay tuned. I'll be talking about those at the end of the video. But first off, let's talk about all of the library books that I'm hoping to get through in the month of March. This is one of the unfortunate months where I have a lot of library due date, so I've got quite a stack here that I'm hoping to get through. First off, I have Sweetly by Jackson Pierce. This is a fantasy retelling of Hansel and Gretel. If you recall, I read the first book in this series, which was Sisters Red, um, which was a Little Red Riding Hood retelling, and I didn't really enjoy that, but I decided to give this one a go because this is not connected to the other. It's a completely, like, on its own retelling. Um, and I hope that this one maybe will be a little bit better, and then if it's not, I probably won't continue with the rest of the series, but I did want to give this one a chance. I then also have Fruits Basket, um, Volume 2, The Collector's Edition by Natsuki Takaya. I enjoyed the first one, but I've already forgotten almost everything about it. So if I read this and then I'm not totally enamored with it, I may not continue with this manga series because it is really, 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 really long. And I just don't know that I'm going to be able to remember all of the characters and all of the different Zodiac stuff enough to really enjoy this series. But I do want to at least give Volume 2 a go. I then also have Plum Lucky by Janet Ivanovich. This is the little novella, a novella from the series. But I do also have Fearless 14, which is the 14th book in the series that I'm hoping to get through. I also have... Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor. This is a novella from the um, Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Um, I believe this is a novella, but it's pretty, looks pretty big to me for a novella. Like, this is almost 200 pages, but it's got a lot of um, like illustrations and things in it. So hopefully I can get through that pretty quickly as well. And then the last book that I have from the library is Wired by Julie Garwood. This is a the next book in the Buchanan Reynard series, I think it's called, which is basically a romantic suspense um, series. And so this is just the next one. I read these, most of these are quite a while ago, but they're very loosely connected. They're more like companion books. You don't really need to know what happened in the previous series. It's more just kind of like this will be its own kind of standalone story. So those are all of the books that I have from the library, which is a pretty sizable chunk, but hopefully I can get through all of those in the month of March. Now moving on to the books from my physical TBR that I'm hoping to get through in the month of March. First and foremost, we have Always and Forever, Lara Jean. This is the third and final book in the To All the Boys I Loved Before trilogy. And then the next book that I have from my physical TBR is an absolute ginormous chunk of a book, and that is... Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. I really love this like movie tie-in edition. I think it's so pretty. But this is 980 something pages. So literally just under a thousand pages. This is so big. Um, the writing in it is also not large. So I think this is going to take me quite a sizable amount of time to get through. But I'm hoping I get really immersed in it because I do love the movie Gone with the Wind. So I'm hoping, yeah, I can just get really immersed in it and then hopefully fly through it. And then the last book I've included from my physical TBR um, is Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. Um, I would ideally like to get this whole trilogy finished in the month of March, but I just don't know that that's a viable thing considering how big Gone with the Wind is, but I'm hopeful. This is a young adult contemporary series that I think is about a group of girls who all team up together to help each other get revenge on different people that they want to get revenge on. That's all I know about it, but as you saw with um, Always and Forever Lara Jean being on my TBR, I have read a couple of Jenny Han books now and I really enjoy her writing, so I'm interested to see how this is when she's teaming up with another author. Now on to a few of the ebooks that I'm hoping to get through in the month of March. I have two NetGalley books that I'm hoping to get through. The first of those is The Lost Girls of Camp Forevermore by Kim Fu. This is a, I think it's a contemporary story and it's about a group of girls who get lost in the wilderness, I think, while they're on summer camp. 
Um, but then I don't think it focuses completely on that because I think it's set like after their lives as well. And I think how this particular event like affects their lives moving forward. Um, I was originally excited to read this, and then since I requested it, um, I saw that Catherine over at Kath Elizabeth reads, um, she really didn't like it. <laughs> so hopefully I enjoy it a little bit more than she did, but I do have that one on my TBR this month. Also from NetGalley, I have Forget Her Name by Jane Holland. This is an adult thriller that is about a woman who receives in the mail, I think it's a snow globe, um, but the snow globe has like had something added to it like a creepy addition has been put into it and she recognizes the snow globe I think from her past I think it was her sisters and her sister died when they were kids but her sister was not a nice little girl so that's all I really know about it but it sounds very intriguing and yeah it just sounds like that'll be a lot of fun and the final ebook that I'm hoping to read is one just from my kindle and that is The Grave Tender by Eliza Maxwell I'm not clear on exactly what this is about. The synopsis is very vague to me. I believe this is another adult psychological thriller. I think this one is and it's all they really can gather is that it's about a woman who is having to go back to her hometown after years away and there's something sinister going on either with her family or with the town. I'm not really sure at all but it's an adult thriller and that is all I really need to want to read books. Now onto the audiobooks that I'm hoping to listen to in the month of March. So I have a bunch of audiobooks on hold at the moment. So some of the ones that I'm thinking will come in this month is Stranger Beside Me by Anne Rule. I've mentioned this a couple of times on my channel. This is a non-fiction true crime novel about um, Ted Bundy. But I'm very interested in this one because Anne Rule was actually friends and colleagues with Ted Bundy um, and didn't know, obviously, that he was a serial killer until it came out that he you know he was discovered to be the killer and so I'm very interested to see this like written by someone who is not only a true crime author but actually has personal knowledge of the serial killer I just think that's going to be really really interesting next is Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepides I think I had this on my TBR last month but it didn't come in so hopefully it'll come in this month and this is a young adult I think um historical fiction that is set um to do with the worst maritime disaster ever I think I think it's worse than the Titanic but it's a maritime disaster that happened during World War II so it's got something to do with World War II but I don't know exactly how the maritime disaster fits into World War II and if the people are on the boat or I don't know exactly how everything ties in together but um I've heard a lot of really um positive reviews of this book so hopefully it's something that I'll enjoy Next is The Hundred Year Old Man Who Climbed Out of the Window and Disappeared by Jonas Jonathan? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, this is a adult contemporary, I believe, about a man, like a hundred year old man, who climbs out of the window one day. I think it's supposed to be his birthday party celebrations, but he doesn't want anything to do with it. And so he climbs out of the window and I think it just follows his adventures that he goes on when he leaves. Um, and so... I don't know, I just saw this on audio and thought it would be something a bit different from what I usually read and like it might be a lot of fun. And finally, on hold for audiobooks, I have The Mothers by Brett Bennett. I don't know too much about what this is actually about. I understand that it's a adult literary fiction, and I think it's set in a black community. Um, but apart from that, and it's got something to do with motherhood, I think it might have something to do with someone who hid a pregnancy as a teenager, but I'm not exactly sure about what it's about apart from that but it did receive a lot of buzz um kind of on booktube a little while ago and when I saw it was on audio I just decided that it was something that I should listen to. So those are the books that I'm hoping to read. Now let's move on to some of the things that I'm hoping to participate in in the month of March. So first off there is um Lisa's Buddy Reads Groups which is now called I think it's the Deadly Divas Book Club. I think it was renamed that. Um, that's Lisa from over at Books and Smiles. And the, the book that they're reading this month is The Grave Tender by Eliza Maxwell. So I had that on my Kindle. So I want to read that this month so I can participate in the group with all of those people and read that along with the group because I just think that that will be a lot of fun. And I haven't participated in any of those buddy reads yet. So I definitely want to rectify that situation. Next is March Mystery Madness, of which Lisa is also one of the hosts. I will leave a link to um, Lisa's announcement video down below if you guys want to find out some more information about that. Um, the general idea of this is just to read 
mystery books in the month of March. There are a bunch of prompts um, that you, like slash challenges you can try and do. I'm not really doing any of those. I'm just going to try read some mysteries. So some of the books, I have some mysteries already on my TBR. I've got The Grave Tender by Eliza Maxwell. That's a mystery. Um, Fearless 14 by Janet Ivanovich. This is more of a lighthearted chick lit type mystery, but there is always a mystery aspect to those books. Wired by Julie Garwood as well. That's a romantic suspense, but again, I think that's going to have quite a mystery aspect to it. And then also Forget Her Name by Jane Holland. It's also a mystery, I understand. And, and maybe that some of these other books that I've got on my TBR may have mysteries in them as well, but sometimes it's you don't really know about a mystery that will be in a book until you read it. But I did definitely want to participate in this as well. And the final thing that I'm hoping to participate in in the month of March is Emoji a thon. So Emoji a thon is a readathon that is going for the entire month of March. Again, I'll link um, the announcement video down below for you guys to check out. I have participated in Emoji a thon several times before. I think I participated um, in the month long one previously, and there was also a mini one that I've done. So the idea of Emoji a thon is just that there is a whole bunch of different challenges surrounding emojis and you just try to read as many of the challenges as you can. So I have listed down some of the emojis that I think I'm going to be able to check off in the month of March. So there is the like girl shrugging emoji which the challenge is to read a book that you haven't read yet but you don't know why and for that like I could use Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell because I've owned that book for forever and I love the movie so why haven't I read the book? There's the car emoji, which is to read a road trip book or a book that features travel. So that maybe I could use Salt to the Sea by Rude Septies because that's set on a boat. Or also maybe I could use the 100-year-old man who goes out the window and disappears, <laughs> whatever that book's called, because I think that may involve him traveling, but I'm not too sure. There's the graduation cap emoji, for which the challenge is to read a non-fiction book. So I have Stranger Beside Me by Anne Rule on my TBR. There's the peace sign emoji, which is to read a diverse book, which I think I could use The Mothers by Britt Bennett because I do believe that that is set within a black community. There's the headphones emoji, which is to listen to an audiobook. So I read a lot of audiobooks. So I'll definitely be able to check that one off. There's the like film camera emoji, which is to read a book that's been adapted. So again, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell could work for that. There's the stack of books emoji, which is just the freebie. So you can read any book you want for that one. So obviously I'll be able to do that one. There's the um, wizard emoji, which is just to read a fantasy book. So I could use Sweetly by Jackson Pierce for that, as that is a fantasy book. There's the iPhone emoji, which is to read an ebook. So again, I can easily do that one. There's the like granny emoji, which is to read a book that's older than you. And for that one, I could use um, Stranger Beside Me again by Anne Rule. I believe that was published in 1980, I want to say, and I wasn't born until 1988, so I could definitely use that one. And the other one that I think I can do is the detective emoji, which is to read a mystery thriller. So there's heaps of emojis there. I believe there's 25 overall different challenges that you guys, that anyone, obviously, you can try to check off. And they're just a handful of the ones that I'm hoping to be able to check off. But yeah, I'm just really excited to participate because Emoji A Thon is just a really low key um, read a thon that's really easy to just adapt into the books that you're already planning to read in the month, and it's always a lot of fun. So, those are all of the books that I'm planning to read in the month of March, together with all of the challenges and read a thons and such that I'm planning to participate in. I would love to chat to you guys in the comments down below about the books you're planning to read in March. Have you read any of the books I'm planning to read? Are you participating in any of the things that I'm participating in? I would love to know. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel. But that's all I've got for this video today. Bye guys!